In this section, we are going to cover the new features of ES6, known as ES2015, the next version of JavaScript. Throughout this journey, we will talk about these features of ES6, like classes, let, const, arrow functions, default parameters, rest parameters, collections map and set, template strings, deconstructing, generators, promises, modules. In the first video, we are going to talk about how to declare variable in ES6 using let and const keywords and how let prevents variable hoisting. Let's understand how let and const block scoping works and how it prevents hoisting of variables. Let's start with the setup for transpilation of ES6 code. ES6 is not widely supported in today's browsers, so it needs to be transpiled to ES5 using transpilers. Transpilers evacuate and compile your JavaScript into browser-compatible ES5. The two most popular tools are Babel and Tracer. We'll be using Babel here for our code snippets. This table shows which features are currently being supported by browsers like Chrome, Mozilla, and IE. If you take a look at the features supported by browsers, you can see some red marks. These show that these features are still not supported by browsers. That's why we need Transpiler, which can transpile ES6 to ES5. Before going to let and const, first we will understand how variable works with var keyword, which provides functional level scope. In ES5 JavaScript and earlier, vars are scoped to functions, and they can be seen outside their functions to the outer context. In ES5, variables using var are hoisted to the top of functions, so you can get their values even when they are not declared there. In ES5, there is no way to make constant values, so here we've got const in ES6 to declare const values. Let's understand block level scoping and function level scoping with var and let. Const and let set a tighter scoping than var keyword using block scoping. Rather than being available to an entire function scope, variables declared with one const and let can be restricted to the scope of the code block. Now we have block scope, which means a variable exists, and thus is only accessible within the block in which it's defined. A block is everything inside an opening and closing curly bracket. In this example, this opening and closing brackets and variable value is available to this block only. Here in this example, a value is defined with let keyword, providing block level scoping and available in block only. Let declaration syntax, same as for var. Replace var with let to keep its scope to current code block. Let variables aren't hosted to the top of the enclosing block and end up destroyed once execution flows out of the block. Here in this example, we are using var keyword and it's available outside block as it's available in function. The first console is giving hello world, and the second is giving undefined, as values are available outside the if block. This example shows block scoping dot here baz is coming as undefined, as baz is defined in block, and outside block, we don't have definition of baz, so we are getting an error here. So the point is, we will get error not defined here, because outside this block, we don't even know what is the meaning of baz. Let's talk about const, which is also providing block scoping. The difference is, its value can't be changed once set, and every const variable must be initialized. Const prevents modification of the binding, and not the value itself. Let's understand the difference using this example. In this function, we are using var keyword, and in the second, we are using let keyword. In the first function, whenever you are making a change, the value is getting reflected as the var declaration provides the function level scope. Same in the second. Function.let is not available in the function scope. Outside, the block of x equals 71 value is getting printed as 31 only. x equals 71 is declared inside block only, so it will not be available outside that block. In the first function, x equals 31, and then we changed it to 71, so we will get x equals 71. In second function, x equals 71 is declared inside block, so we will get x as 31 only. In this video, we have covered the different ways of declaring variables using let and var, and how they behave in their block and function level scope respectively. In the next video, 
we will talk about arrow functions and default argument.